Bangladesh is going to polls on January 7th. And what do Hindus in Bangladesh want from their next government? It's a difficult question to answer. There are almost 2 crore Hindus in Bangladesh according to the last census. And say a Hindu who is a major general in the, in the Bangladeshi army may not want the same thing as a Hindu who is a job seeker in Dhaka. A Hindu who is in a, who is a high position in the police department may not want the same thing as a Hindu who is a sharecropper in a village. I have been speaking to a cross section of Hindus in Bangladesh for the past two years and I have felt that there is a sense of othering that they feel is there in Bangladeshi society. Now one of the years in recent times that have stood out as, as an year where the Hindu population of Bangladesh faced the brunt of othering is 2021. It happened over a piece of fake news. It was the time of Durga Puja and a WhatsApp forward said that a copy of the Quran was found at the feet of a statue of Lord Hanuman at a Durga Puja Pandal. Nationwide riots took place. Lives were lost, properties were damaged, there was arson and finally when the police managed to control the situation, there was this huge sense of othering that the community felt. I started looking at Bangladesh very carefully and critically since then. I have been to Bangladesh to attend the Durga Puja in 2020, 2022, which is the next year, very next year, and in 2023, this year. And no such incident took place. There were no nationwide riots. In fact, a heavy security was provided. Though there were incidents of, of uh, sort of looting at temples and damage to idols that were reported, the, the Puja time uh, passed in relative peace. But as Bangladesh goes to poll, there is this question that has, that has come up and that has been increasingly asked, what is the future of Hindus in our neighboring country? Do they have a future at all? It's a difficult question because if you look at the numbers, the population of Hindus have come down steadily from 1947 when India was partitioned and into West Pakistan, West Pakistan and East Pakistan was formed. East Pakistan later in 1971 became Bangladesh. But even after the formation of Bangladesh, the Hindu population have steadily come down. One of the years uh, that stand out as a year of huge exodus was 2001 when the Bangladesh Nationalist Party and the jamaat e islami came to power. Massacres were reported across Bangladesh. There were, there were news reports of many killings and rapes. In fact, I had the opportunity to speak to the current president of Bangladesh, Muhammad Shahbuddin Chuppu, who headed a judicial committee that looked at the atrocities uh, against Hindus during that period. And uh, the president told me that, you know, there were single nights during which hundreds of Hindu women were raped. Now, that after, after 2001, there was, a, there was a huge exodus of Hindus uh, from Bangladesh. Things have been better since then. Uh, for the last 15 years, Sheikh Hasina government has been in power. And though the constitution of Bangladesh says that the official line, official religion in Bangladesh is Islam, it also says, the constitution also says that secularism is its stated aim. Now, this is, this is something that not just Sheikh Hasina and her government, but even the founding father of Bangladesh, Mangamundu, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, who happened to be Sheikh, Sheikh Hasina's father, believed in. Uh, the, the, the party in power, Sheikh Hasina's party, Army League, often says, and perhaps with a degree of sincerity, that while religion is individualistic, while religion is for individuals, festivity is for everybody. This is something that Sheikh Hasina's son, Sajib Wajid Joy, said on Twitter this year. As the country is going to polls, this is something that the government is constantly harping on. Now, what are the options, political options before Hindus in Bangladesh? The BNP, the party I spoke about, the largest political formation outside the Army League and the Jamaati Islami, Jamaat Islami, which is the Islamist, largest Islamist party, are out of the electoral fray because the BNP said that free and fair elections would not be held in Bangladesh if Sheikh Hasina remains in power. They, have, they had demanded a caretaker government to be in place when Bangladesh uh, goes to polls. Sheikh Hasina has, has, has not accepted that. So they have said that there is no point in participating in this election. It will be a rigged election. 
so they have they have said no to participating in the polls the jamaat e islami cannot participate in polls supreme court of the country has said no to that but what do they want what do these parties want the jamaat e islami has officially said that enough of man made laws in the country it would want sharia law to be in place and though the jamaat e islami and the bangladeshi uh, bangladesh nationalist party are not together on the face of it but they have been holding protests which are parallel uh, which are parallel in nature they have been they have been demanding the same things from the government and there's this fear that if they were to come to power again like in 2001 the attacks on hindus will only increase now for the past 15 years there have been a, a, there, there have been an attempt from the government side to tone down the sense of othering how much it has been successful is up for debate there is the, the 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 political aim may be one thing but how the society has reacted uh, from time to time to the hindu population is quite another thing but at least on the face of it sheikh hasina government has said that it would that it would want bangladesh to be smart bangladesh a country that is that 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 is that is that is advancing in technology where infrastructure is advanced where uh, people have better civic amenities so on one hand you have a leader who wants at least has stated aim is a smart country a smart bangladesh on the other there is this sense that if the if any other political formation were to come to power uh you know there would be sharia law i have spoken to community leaders who are hindus in bangladesh and they have said that there are other things they want from sheikh hasina which is not just smart bangladesh but a sensitive bangladesh they would want a bangladesh where there is a where the government has a minority commission they would want a bangladesh where laws are stricter uh, uh, against those who who still attack hindus there is a, there are there are other demands of course